some incredible dishes today and this is dessert. We're gonna make an apple cobbler. I love apple cobbler. <laughs> oh my gosh. So how are we gonna do this with a dehydrator? Is this something that the Sedona is really well suited for? It is because the cobbler has a couple of different components. Okay. You can enjoy them separately or together, but both of them can be done at the same time in the dehydrator. We're gonna start with some apples. We've got some thinly sliced apples there. Looks like a red delicious apple. Is that red what this was? Red delicious apple, yep. Very thinly sliced. This is about an eighth of an yeah. inch. Okay. And then we're gonna just coat it with a little bit of agave. I'll stir. Okay, and I'll just pour. There you go, yeah. I love agave. <laughs> and this is a raw agave. You could also use a raw honey if you want or a couple drops of stevia, but the agave really works best in this recipe. And then we're gonna add some of the fresh cinnamon. A couple pinches of fresh ground cinnamon. About a teaspoonful is, is usually what we're aiming for. Like that? Yep, just a pinch of salt. And what that does is while this is in the dehydrator and all the humidity is circulating in the dehydrator, temperatures fluctuating and everything right. like that, and it's getting nice and soft, right. it's gonna help break down the fiber. All right. So, but without baking. So it's a, I've got to see this. <laughs> apple cobbler and a dehydrator. Right? I really want to see this. And you can do this with pears and peaches, oh. fresh berries. The dehydrator naturally sweetens up the fruit. Okay. And it softens it up, but it doesn't overcook it or overheat it. Right. Yeah. Right. So what we're going to do now is just take a dehydration tray lined with a non-stick sheet. So you've got the BPA-free tray. That would you've be... You've got the screen. This? And then you have the nonstick sheet. What we're gonna do is just pour it out. There we go. Isn't that vibrant? The color is so nice. Yeah. And you can really, you get the smell of that cinnamon and, and while it's in the dehydrator, with the way the dehydrator works, it's gonna intensify that flavor. So you just kinda wanna flatten it out. It doesn't have to be really separate pieces because we're just gonna okay. leave it in there for a short time. All right. 20 minutes to an hour. 20 minutes to an hour, that's yeah, all? that's it. Wow. And they just soften up really quickly so we can go ahead and put those in there while we make the crust. We just put it in there at about 118 degrees. The Sedona dehydrator is really great with basic crusts oh, because you could okay. actually make just a bunch of crusts ready to go when you have fresh fruit coming out of your garden. We can make it still a very soft crust. Okay. Doesn't mean that it's gonna be hard. So okay. again, we're gonna use walnuts or pecans because the nuts themselves really take the place of flour. They're high in oil content, but they're also really high in, in fiber. So okay. they really create a nice base. So we're gonna put two cups of the nuts in the food processor, just like that. We just process this into a meal. We definitely don't want it to turn into a butter. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of cinnamon to this. And we'll just sprinkle that around in here. And then one teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. Perfect. And this will help separate the flavor without having to over-sweeten. And then we'll add the agave from the top while okay. it's blended. And it looks like it's ready to go. I just like to double check it. Yeah, that's perfect. Marie, if you'll do the honors. Okay. I'll turn it on and you can pour it in. Perfect. Oh, and see the dough ball right there. Already. That's perfect, yeah. And again, this is a very versatile basic crust. Uh -huh. You can even freeze the crust and have it available to spread out and put in the dehydrator whenever you're ready. So at this stage, I could freeze this. Or if you can just make these into cookies. Cinnamon cookies. Oh, wow. See, okay. it's got lots of versatile uses. That's another video. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll scrape this out and we'll make a really beautiful tray of apple cobbler. You ready? I am so ready.